What is a superfood? Most people would probably answer broccoli, goji berries, or kale. Unfortunately, very few realize that these aforementioned foods might be doing us more harm than good. To learn more about why that is, make sure you watch this video about the dark side of plant foods. I will also link it in the description box below. I also outline how broccoli could be harmful in another video that I will link up here and also in the description box below. For now though, I'm sure most people would agree that salmon is a health food, but why exactly is that? What are the benefits of eating salmon? Number one. Salmon is rich in omega-3 fat. Omega-3 fat is probably one of the most important and at the same time, the most deficient nutrient in our modern diets. We especially need the biologically active form of omega-3, which is known as DHA, which is short for docosahexaenoic acid. DHA can only be found in animal food, so no matter how much flax seeds, chia seeds, or walnuts you consume, you will still be deficient in DHA. That's because the body cannot convert that kind of omega-3 into the biologically active one very well in the body. Why is DHA important? Because our brains are made up of approximately 60% fat and 20% of those fats are DHA. Not only is omega-3 crucial for mental health and brain function, it is also a powerful anti-inflammatory agent. Unfortunately, over 90% of processed and packaged food that people consume are highly inflammatory. In addition, environmental toxins and stressors also increase inflammation in the modern human. For that reason, probably the single best thing you can do for your health is lower your inflammation levels. And it's counterproductive to do that without addressing first an omega-3 deficiency. If you would like to learn more about how to test for an omega-3 deficiency, I recommend ordering a home test kit from Omega Quant. It's an affordable, reliable, and convenient method for knowing your status. I will link their website in the description box below. Now, while omega-3 consumption is best obtained from whole foods, such as wild-caught sockeye salmon, most people need to fix a deficiency of omega-3 first with supplements before now maintaining this healthier blood level of omega-3 with both whole foods and supplementation. I will drop links to high quality brands of omega-3 in the description box below for you. And if you are looking for more detailed information regarding omega-3, then make sure you watch this video that I filmed on the topic, which I will also link in the description box below. Another benefit of salmon is that it's rich in vitamin D. Just one three and a half ounce filet of wild caught salmon has 1000 IUs of vitamin D, which is enough to meet your daily needs for vitamin D. A caveat here is that farmed salmon only has 25% of the vitamin D content found in wild caught salmon. Also make sure you don't fry your salmon in vegetable oil as that has been shown to destroy half of the vitamin D content in the salmon. Another benefit is that salmon is rich in astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is an antioxidant that gives salmon its pink color and it protects the omega-3s in the salmon from getting damaged or oxidized easily. The reason scientists are excited about astaxanthin is because a 2007 study found that astaxanthin was 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C in its antioxidant capabilities. Another reason to love astaxanthin is because it functions like a natural sunscreen and thus decreases sun-related skin damage. I will drop some links to good astaxanthin supplement brands in the description box below. Salmon is also rich in selenium. A three and a half ounce serving of salmon will provide you with most of your selenium needs for the day. Selenium is critical for thyroid function. Selenium also protects your skin from aging-related wrinkles. And most importantly of all, selenium protects the body from the toxic effects of mercury. For that reason, do not fear eating salmon as its content of selenium outweighs its mercury contamination. So you end up with a net positive effect on your health. You're probably thinking to yourself now, what type of salmon should I eat? The answer is you want to look for sockeye wild caught salmon with the brightest pink color you could find as that indicates a higher astaxanthin concentration. You will also notice that wild salmon has less fat and less calories compared to farmed salmon. One more thing, Atlantic salmon may contain a genetically modified salmon called Aqua Advantage and that was approved by the FDA and may already be in our food supply. 
So if you want to make sure you're not exposing your body to GMO salmon, make sure you stick to Pacific salmon. Finally, I will link items in the description box below that I think you might be interested in, such as this Amazon Halo fitness tracker and those earrings that I am wearing and also the research behind this content. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.